So now that we've talked about color temperature and the Kelvin scale, we're going to talk about how does your camera read that light. And that comes into white balance and deciding you know, what is the true white. This is something that can be a little complicated at times, but really with a little practice, I think you'll start to understand what it means. So most cameras, you can use auto white balance. And what this does is that it looks at your image and whatever is supposed to be white, it tries to make that white and all the other colors sort of fall into place. So nowadays, a lot of cameras have really great auto white balance features and it's pretty easy to just allow your camera to do all the work for you. But there's a couple other ways for you to approach this and really learn what color temperature is. One of them is using presets. Um, you'll see a lot of times that there's a little sun symbol, cloud symbol, a little light bulb symbol, and these are all presets to say, oh, it's cloudy outside, that means you should be on this one if you want to get a true white. If it's daylight, you should be on the little sun symbol. And really what this is getting down to is setting your Kelvin number. And this is one of the best ways for you to learn about the color temperature is going in and saying, I want to pick my own Kelvin and going, go to 3200 for incandescent, but also go outside and shoot 3200 Kelvin in outdoor setting. And you'll see that the image doesn't come out as white. Instead, it has this whole tint to it. And then if you go to 5600, it might not be perfectly white. Maybe you have to go to 6000 or 7000 Kelvin to get that true white dependent on what the sun's doing at that time. Go out and practice. Set your color temperatures. See what the different light sources do. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, enjoy shooting, and we'll see you soon.